Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. And here today we were playing some more until dawn. Without further ado, let's just get into this glorious, like, fucking beautiful game. Okay guys, we're right back where we were last time. Let's get into it. Search some bodies. Let's see if we can get some gas in our um, bike. Wait, no, no, don't get on your bike. Let's see if we can get some gas in our bike because I'm not sure if it needs it actually. Wait, yeah, 53%. I'm going to fill it up. Oh, Alright, 100% tank. Let's drop it. Search this body and then right, let's go. Alright. We have to go to that camp that we seen last episode. It's just like there's so many zombies out here. Uh for the time being, like as of now, I'll see you guys when I get out there. Okay, well I just crashed my bike almost into some freaking tripwire. That sucks. Alright, let's clear this camp out. Didn't even mean to shoot, I was trying to place that trap. Oh! Oh! No, I'm in a trap. Oh. Oh. oh no. Oh, come on. Let's go get her. Oh. Get it. That's the last of them. Stay the hell off of Leary Mountain. Better stay off the mountain. Loser, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke? Yeah? I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Oh, I to fix this. Just rest up, booze man. Rest yeah, up. Rest we'll up, right man. north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Loser out. What? Oh, he said boozer out. I'm stupid. You heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find the hot stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, boozer. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah. All right. Deke, so, oh. you there? D did you say you were heading north? Who's man? No. You know I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Okay, well, 
now, as I was going to say earlier, I will catch up with you guys when we're about to get there. Boozers, you might want to wait on me. No, you're going to get yourself killed. Wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dean. I think wait till tonight. We feel the freaks inside those nests. Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. Dick. Yeah, Dick. Uh, what? I just said I wasn't heading north like 10 minutes ago. Anyway, we're here to the uh, cemetery. We gotta find an angel statue. Helicopter following me? Oh my god. Who's man? Are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A chopper? Wait, what are you talking about? Nero chopper! It just rushed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, this time in a fit chopper shot out of nowhere? I'm gonna chase him down and I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Don't get too close to you know what the hell you're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Okay, I won't do anything stupid, hopefully. <laughs> ah, oh, my motorcycle is running really low on fuel. What is this helicopter doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Why would they be stopping? Why? I, Nero Chopper? Like from the beginning, a narrow chopper. What are they doing? There 
hard as rock. Who's that talking? Sounds familiar for some reason. Go check that out. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. Stay in the shrubs. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. It started raining. Freaks out. Make it to her bike back safe and we'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Yeah, go look at that. Finally, they're leaving. Let's go. That was kind of crazy. Come back. Deke. Hey, I'm here. Let me go down the farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you... Oh, Brian. He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. Oh, Brian. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. 
Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke. Dumb. Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure we're now going to deliver these Deke, how's it going? Eh, had some time on my hands, made you some shit. stuff out. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. I need to find some gas. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country, only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD huh. doesn't stand for post traumatic stress disorder, it stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now, living yeah. in the wilderness in the way of our forebears. The feds used to think. Their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds were never gonna give us that. Oh my god. You, you want our trust? You got it. This is Bob Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's great! Yeah, Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again! Oh god, what have I done? Right, there's gas up here. Way out to the roof. I needed it bad, I was at 9% on my gas. Almost there. Gotta drive through a little bit of water. Probably not good for the bike. I smell it. Ugh. Gotta be getting close. The met nest must smell so bad. I'll come back later and finish burning up these nests. Okay, so for now, I'll see you guys when I get there. This is the farthest I've ever had to drive, and the locations in this is a big map. Like the locations in this game are like they're like very natural. They look real. You feel like you could actually be there in them. We're almost there now, so yeah. No oh, deer's everywhere out here, and running zombies. Oh my god. I was gonna have to push some cars for a second. <laughs> go around. I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. I'm almost there. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Whew. 
All right, guys, we're finally here. North one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. <laughs> Telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength, it'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. Whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. Did no one stop them? How the f. Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Akai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Here's that, honey. <laughs> I think someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. A golf How long has it been since you found someone who brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I know we can't bury these because... <laughs> Jesus. Just Keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm. This is a big camp. So they can sit on their asses <coughs> and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus. 
lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing well, so you're my high bike, and no. mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. No. You look like the sword who might have spent some time in the pen back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like her, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do, but look, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? It's a man boozer. The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Alright. Else. Yeah, I need a little Good bit choice. more ammo. Alright, let's Come go. by if you still need something. What do you need? <clears throat> now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Um... I'm going to bring the drug stash to Can't Copeland because he did promise me. Bike fixed up, Copeland. It is. Yeah, we need a bike fixed up more than anything. Guys, so um, I thought we were bringing the drugs up here because maybe Copeland was up here, but I guess not. Next episode, we will probably bring the drugs to Copeland, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, that's all, guys.